Yeah, Tracy, we know a lot of schools just got out an hour or so ago, including this charter school that's actually right across the street from us at the mall. So we've seen a lot of teens walking around. Many of them are just hanging out on the sidewalks or going into other stores now that they can't go inside the mall alone. Yeah. After school gets out, usually there's an influx of teens at the mall. But two weeks ago, nearly 500 teens started a flash mob and an officer got hurt chasing kids. So now a new curfew. Starting today, everyone under 18 must be accompanied by someone over 23 after 2 p.m. This doesn't apply to kids who work in the mall or are taking SEPTA, which means anyone who looks young could be asked for an ID. The goal now to keep chaos out of the area. Oh my God, I was raised and born here. You know what I'm saying? Now all of a sudden, I'm afraid to come down here. Some like the curfew, saying this will make the mall safer and prevent kids from being disorderly. But others, like Gabby Hewlett, say it won't help. She works at Got the Look, a local boutique in the mall where most of their shoppers are teen girls. With us being a small business and with us being new and our main customer being juveniles, it's definitely going to hurt our business and our sales. Um, 2 p.m. is definitely way too early, I feel. She says foot traffic is already decreasing at the mall since COVID, and they're not a big corporate chain that can sustain a cut to customers. The flash mobs were after mall hours, so... You know, I really feel like it happens later on. You know, the mall closes at 7, so I do think the curfew should definitely be way later. She thinks the curfew was a knee-jerk reaction and the flash mob was a one-off during spring break. She says instead of warding off kids, the move should be to up security and police presence. And now police are telling us how this will be enforced. Mall security will be the ones enforcing this, while officers who are patrolling around the area will be responsible just for general safety. As for what Center City District or the Fashion District have to say, well, we reached out to both of them, but we have yet to hear back. We're live in Center City. Karen Hua, NBC 10 News.